Hello and welcome to Professional Miscreants. Today we are doing a little product testing on something that I saw on Instagram and instantly thought that's bullshit. So we got from LegacySafetyAndSecurity.net a bulletproof baseball hat. So this little gem was exactly $100 which was the first red flag because I've never seen soft armor that cheap. I'm no pro but we'll see. It is an interesting concept though. They rated this at level 2. It actually has a bulletproof liner in it, so you can put it in whatever hat you want. Uh, yeah, no, I kind of look like Elmer Fudd with this thing. It really, I don't want to mess up my, oh. It like doesn't really push down. <laughs> so I kind of look like an idiot, but you know what? That's fine, because if you shoot me in the head, I'm going to live and then tell you you're, you're dumb, because you don't have a bulletproof hat. Okay, to test this, I brought the closest thing to my head I could find, which was a watermelon, although that's ironically a little smaller than my huge ass head. We're going to start this off with some Winchester 22 long rifle 36 grain hollow point ammunition and I will be using my Taurus TX-22. It's a fun little plinker and one of my personal favorites. Not because it's purple or anything. All right. <laughs> Come look at that. So, <laughs> the watermelon's not too happy so far, but that could just be back face deformation. So there's our entry. See that pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right, and there's our, actually, that stopped it. That's just, I mean, there's a good bump here. You can see why that fucked it up, but it did not go through. So we're gonna do 22 long rifle again, but we're switching it up to CCI Stinger ammo. Big difference here, it is 32 grain, but instead of being, I think the other one was just shy of 1300 feet per second, these are 1640 feet per second, so they have a lot more ass behind them. I wanna see, I mean, the original 22 long rifle really, really brought the ruckus. I'm curious on what this is gonna do. Same gun, TX-22. I think my red dot died. Well, my red dot died. We're gonna go for it anyway, going blind. I didn't even see where that hit. Oh, <laughs> I was a little high. I was a little high. Let's try that again. <laughs> We're gonna do the CCI Stinger ammunition again. 22 long rifle, Taurus TX-22 with a dead red dot. I'm just gonna point blank it, I think, because I really was way too high. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look worse than the initial. Yeah, that lines up, so. No, it did not go through. Huh, interesting. I must have just hit like a real soft spot. I mean, that is like the, the moldy butthole part of the melon, so that kind of tracks. All right, now we're gonna step it up a little. I'm going to use my Palmetto State Armory dagger, the nine millimeter. I believe these are 124 grain, nine millimeter hollow points from AAC. Okay, wow, if you can see, this is uh, pretty well shredded. Oh, there's watermelon in there. Oh good. We've got Kurt Cobain's favorite wall, wallpaper brain. Let's check the skull. Oh yeah. Well, that was good. That's real good. <laughs> I suddenly am less of a hat guy than I was. Okay, so we saw that this hat does not really tolerate 9mm too well, because that was not a fancy plus P ammo, that was nothing, it was even hollow point, it's not really designed to penetrate, it's designed to open and flower and cause a lot of damage, which it did that. The hat did not help that. The next step up that was on our roster was our plus P ammo, and after that we were going to try my little 38 special hooker gun, because that's what this hat's alleged limit was. 
I don't think that melon or that hat has another real shot to it. So we're just going to the strongest thing I got because I just want to see what would happen if we do it. I brought with me today the Henry Mayer's Leg 44 Magnum. I have not shot this yet, so I'm just going to do a couple warm up shots just to get a feel for it. And then we're going to send this melon to hell. Okay. That's satisfying. That is satisfying. <laughs> okay. Let's hunt some melons. Did you ever hear a fruit ninja? Me either. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, let's check out the damage. So I shot it right there. I mean, you can tell the, look at that difference between just the 22 and that, or even the nine. Oh yeah. This looks like some fucked up cassava. I mean, I don't think our guy's gonna make it if we're being really blunt here. I do work in the medical field. They might need more than bacitracin and a Band-Aid after this. So, on that, with the bulletproof hat, if you are only getting shot by 22 man, I think it would be worth your time. Outside of that, I really think I'd rather just get shot in the face because this is a uh, That's not good. That's not good at all <laughs> I would say we're not gonna be wasteful and we'll eat this melon, but it's full of loads All right, well if you like this video and you would like to see more shit like this and test weird products and blow up Whatever you want hit subscribe like this video comment what you would like us to test out product wise we have a couple things coming up but we don't know everything so if you have a product you want us to shoot if you have any weird suggestions just let me know and i will do my best to accommodate see you next time bitches